Hi, everybody. All right, so we're continuing to work on wiring up the engine. And this takes a while. It's it's kind of hard. This is one of those things of how close, how the hell do I get the camera in? So I know the camera's on the floor beneath the engine. This is not a good angle. Uh, but, you know, where exactly am I supposed to put the damn thing? Uh, trying to get up into every angle to try to show every bracket, a little bit of a pain. But don't worry, in just a uh, little bit here, we're going to have a close-up of the back of the engine, and I'll point out a few things. Uh, let's see. Happy New Year, first of all. Here's the 2022 year of us. Hopefully it'll be a lot better. All right, so let's switch over real quick. So here is the back of the engine. All right, so let's go ahead and just free, uh, freeze frame this real quick and, and give it a chat and go over a few things. All right, so let's start off with the, the uh, tack plug. So there you can see the plug that we've put in place. Instead of having the tack cable for your RPM, we have the Hall Effect sensor, so we don't need that tack area. We have a plug from Spruce. Here's where the vacuum plate goes. We'll find that in about four or five videos. Here are the two vacuum lines that come up from the auto throttle body in the front. Uh, you can see the closest one is teed downward, and that goes to the fuel pressure regulator. And then you can see the other T, which doesn't go anywhere yet, but will go there, which is the Garmin manifold pressure sensor. No, unfortunately, the EFI system doesn't let you tee off of their manifold pressure uh, lines. I already asked. It ain't happening, so. And that is the current state of the plane, as, well, as of this video, anyway. All right, back to trying to wrangle the EFI wire bundle into submission. Uh, that'll be the very last thing that we technically, or th that'll be the very last bundle that we work on. Uh, what we are working on this video is making the bundle for all of the pressure and manifold and fuel sensors and oil sensors. Uh, I thought I'd already done this, but I have not. Uh, there were two connectors into the back of the engine analyzer, and in the, uh, a couple of videos ago you saw me working on getting all of the EGT, exhaust gas temperature and cylinder head temperature lines plugged in, and I thought that was the last bundle. I was, uh, I was wrong. Uh, I, we still have to do this bundle. So this is the connector that has, let's see, it's got the manifold pressure sensor, it's got the oil pressure sensor. I believe it has oil temperature sensor. It also has the fuel pressure sensor. What else? I think it also has, I think it also has TAC and, no, that's not right. TAC and, TAC, no? Is it TAC and fuel flow? I don't know. It's got... It's got something. It's got one of those things. Uh, no, no, I'm sorry. No, fuel flow winds up connecting somewhere else. Oh, hell if I know. All right. But that's what we're working on now. Uh, and it's just a bunch of three connector wires, right? And you've seen me work on this before. It's, you know, strip the wire, isolate the shielding, put a uh, ground wire on the shielding with a very handy solder sleeve and then make sure to add some labels then strip the end of the wires crimp on the nice uh, plugs for the Garmin system and then attach I believe these are just female barrels I don't know after a while even I get even even after a while I get bored with wiring which unfortunately is gonna be what the next few videos are so I'm just gonna let this one trail on out as is uh, you're not really Nothing special is going to be happening here. Uh, have a safe New Year's. Thank you for joining me, everyone. See you soon.